Okay, hello everybody. Sucrose here. Um, today we're going to be playing Rusty Lake. Uh, specifically, Roots. And uh, there's no game. There's no game music playing, which might be a little bit strange. Um, but it's very loud. And so you're going to need to tell me if I've managed to make it quiet enough. So let's, let's start it up. And it starts quiet. But it builds. And it builds. And it builds. So let me know if this is too loud. Or if is this just right, or if this is too quiet, but uh, I won't accept that. So Delvina says she can't hear in-game music. That's not what I expected at all. Um, do you still not hear it? Pale says acceptable. Delvina, you need to clean your ears. Scream if this gets too loud. Okay. This might this might be a game for screaming. It's a little bit uh, a little bit weird. I've played some games by this developer. Um, I cannot alt tab from this game, or the music just kits quits. Um, maybe it's just going to quit anyway. Um, okay. Thank you, Nightbot. We, we just started, buddy, but uh, I appreciate I appreciate your being there for me. So, Delvina, how, how, how is it? Do you hear it now? Because if you don't hear it, something's really... You don't hear this. Do you, I mean... Okay. All right. Okay. So, I think... I think we're ready to begin. I think I also changed the title, uh, but let me know if I haven't. All right. So uh, before we begin, let me let me say um, probably how this will work is I'll play around and um, um, you know you all will have ideas about stuff to do and and I'll listen to them. And I will encourage them. Um, I may do my ideas first because I'm my favorite person, but uh, but otherwise you're free to you're free to suggest that I do things. So let's let's give it a shot. Rusty Lake, spring, 1860. James Vanderboom arrived at Rusty Lake. His uncle had just passed away under mysterious circumstances. James was his uncle's only heir. He had no idea of the events that would change his life. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so I love the art that this guy does. It's 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 like like there's something wrong, just a little bit something wrong maybe with the face, but not enough that you could even point it out. Maybe maybe it's the proportions. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Throw all your clothes down the well. Okay. All right. What just happened? What's this? Oh, ooh, ooh! It's like it's like mist. We're gonna be playing. Uh, what is it? Obsequious or what? What is it? Obelisk. Uh, that other game later this week. Click. Click on the text to read. I mean, I can literally read it, but okay. Oh. I, I, okay, I guess it's just um, it's just in case you cannot read cursive. Dear James, I regret to inform you that your uncle has passed away. He has left you his house and a very special seed. Uh, move, move your finger. Move your finger. Oh. Plant it and start your own family. Signed, 
572, your favorite number. That's kind of that's kind of weird. Okay. Probably 572 has some some significance. Um, somebody write down that number in your lab book. So his knees are not involved. So that's good to know. Oh. He's thinking of he's thinking of uh, celery. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Bill. Okay. You can put this away. No, no, no. Don't read it again. You can put this away. No. Uh, you need to shave your arms. They're a little bit too hairy. I still think in a celery. It's a lot. He, he thinks a lot about celery. All right, let's just move on. Let's try this briefcase. <laughs> I'm really bad with these numbers. Now, Pale, what was the number that you wrote down in your lab book? Please, if you if you would, kind sir. Five seven two. Okay. Oh, you could. Oh, you drag them. Oh, this feels good. Oh, this feels good. Uh, I just I just wanted to make you feel important. Yes, I forgot. But don't shame me, just because I'm getting old and I don't have a good memory. Oh, there we go. Looks like um looks like a plant of some kind on the shield and a bird, and this is a latch, I guess. There are arrow keys. Oh really? Well I What arrow keys? Bullshit, there's no arrow keys. What are you talking about, Delvina? You're making stuff up. You're talking about these? talking about all right got a bone the ones at the top of the bottom of the screen okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I saw them I saw them on the other thing all right I got this one I bet we have to slide this to the right um it's just like tinder okay here's the seed we have to probably have to plant this that would be my guess um, that's pretty much it. That's what's in a briefcase is a bone and a seed. And we all know from Minecraft that we can make bone meal to grow plants. All right, let's see. Let's, before we check out this dog and this watering can, I'm kind of interested in this well. Use items from your inventory. I guess this is like the tutorial. Oops, probably we need a bucket. Throw the seed down the well. Done with the adventure. Let's see if it let's see, let's see if it lets us do it. Doesn't appear to. Oh, I bet the bone goes to the dog. Dogs love bones. He looks like he just farted. I mean, am I wrong on that? Or he's like, he's got a really funny secret, you know? He he, he doesn't want to say it out loud because he knows it'll spoil the joke. But if he says it, but if he doesn't say it out loud, he's not sure you're going to get it. It's like a, it's like one of those looks. I think he deserves a bone. Oh, little doggy. Little doggy gets a bone. Uh-oh. That's not how dogs dig at all. But this would be a good place. To plant a seed. Look, I got an achievement for that. Plant a tree. Um, surely we'll have to water it, right? With water from the uh with water from the well. Alright, so far this is super easy. Uh or I'm really good. I'm pretty sure it's the latter. Was this game made in Flash 22 years ago? It, it, it was definitely made in Flash. And I think that's part of the problem with the technical difficulties. So right now, the volume on my computer is set to 4%. Because if I set it to like 30, which is where I normally put it, it blows out my eardrums. And on top of that, in 
in the streaming software, I have it set to negative 35 decibels um, because it is so loud. It's kind of crazy. Um, all right, we have a water can. Let's, oh, hold on. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Also, welcome to the, welcome to the chat, Nate. Yay, I hope, um, hope you can help us out when times get tough. All right, I think we all know what we have to do with this can of water. Let's not beat around the bush. <laughs> looks like celery to me. Oh, oh, doesn't look like celery now. Now it looks like a mighty oak. He's, he's starting to take off his clothes. You can't take away bits. Get, get out of here. You can only add bits. Um, all right. Well, we grew it, so game over, right? That's the dog. The, oh, oh. That is one creepy-ass dog. What's the point of that? Hey, Rista. Weed growing simulator. Yeah, maybe. This dog is just dancing around. I don't. He he gives me the heebie-jeebies. That's the thing about these these games. The the cube games were the same way. It's just everything is just off a little bit. It's it's kind of Lynchian. Uh yeah. Yeah, pal. I now now that this channel's set to mature, actually I can do all sorts of stuff that I couldn't do before. Um, all right, so I'm literally out of ideas. I guess the man has to do something. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. The square is a big thing. Boom. James. James and the Giant Peach, right? All right, so that was James' story. That was pretty easy. Um, oh, oh, this is cute. Okay, so it's through time. So, um, now it's spring of 1860, and it's, uh, I guess, grown up a bit? I don't know. It looks pretty much the same to me. All right, we need the bird's nest, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's wearing suspenders. They didn't wear suspenders in 1970. What are you, what are you thinking? Um, oh, a worm. We gotta, obviously, we have to pick up the worm. This is the kind of game where you need worms. And a diamond. It's literally a diamond. There was a diamond in a flower pot. Some objects you can drag. Oh. Ooh. So the dragging, I have to say the dragon is pretty cool. James doesn't look like he's putting in that much effort. Yeah, I feel like if he just stretched a bit, he could reach it by himself. Like, stand, stand on your tippy toes, buddy. No, oh, I wiggled the branch. Now I, have a, now I have a twig. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm making progress here. Okay, you better get that fucking nest, you bastard. You can reach the net. Just stretch your arm. Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. James, please, seriously. What is, what is going on? All right, what, what's okay? This looks. This is going to be bad. This is going to be like some nightmare monster, I think. Yep, yep, it's a nightmare monster. Um, hold on, just like give me, give me just ten seconds. All right, sorry about that. You can't even you can't even type fast enough. I'm back already. This bird is not cute. This bird is going to be the bringer of uh, of our destruction. See, 
Crows, crows are bad news. Oh, he needs a worm. This game is so easy. And he, he pooped out a, another diamond. So we've got a, a, a yellow diamond and a white diamond. All right. Um, I I'm not sure. I, I've played I've played um, Escape the Room games like that. Um, keep keep the bird at poops diamonds. Yeah, but we're all out of uh, we're all out of worms yet. So can't get any more diamonds. Um. Is anybody experiencing um, what? Do, what do you call it? Connectivity issues. Crow is the best bird. By the way, stands if I remember correctly for, if I remember correctly. What? You're not getting any buffering? Okay, all right. Um, I don't know what to do with these diamonds. S s uh, sacrifice them to the tree, perhaps? Um, any thoughts? Oh, we can go inside. All right, we have to break the... Oh. This is what I'm saying. This is Crow, Crow Man. Like, he's, he's got our number. Ugh. I don't, I don't they creep me out. Crows are, are some of the smartest birds, though. Very, very uh, ingenious in figuring out little puzzles. Crow is best man, heart. <laughs> uh, let us in, let us in. Oh dear God, okay. All right, easy peasy. Click on the tree to make it grow. It's, it's growing. Okay, summer. So it was uh, spring, now it's summer. This, is, this, this game, I feel like this game is gonna like scare the shit out of us at some point. Okay, all right, it's already, it's already gotten creepy. We got bloody handprints. Um, cobwebs, and honestly, I think I'd find cobwebs scarier than bloody handprints because what can a bloody handprint do to you anyway? Um, okay, so wood. Wood's uses include burning and standing on it. There's a pickle jar, which is not apparently interactable. The Vanderbloom brothers, um, old uh, Oscar and Freddy. Uh, Oscar was the the fun one. Freddy, Freddy's, you know, it's kind. Of, he's a little, he's a little bit of a tight ass. Uh, if there are porcelain dolls or clowns with needles, I will leave. Well, I hope, I hope not, Phil. Looks like there's something behind this painting, though. Oh dear. All right, we got a key. Which is all black, not even like dark. It's just black. We've got some kind of Sanskrit looking thing here. Um, there's a heart. What is it? What does it say? Something con? I'm not even sure what it is. Let's make a heart. Oh, maybe we construct a human. Maybe we're gonna resurrect. Old Oscar Vanderblum. Looks like we need all these pieces, probably, and then it'll uh, grow into a person. Um, just like in real life, I took a botany class in uh, college, and they taught us all about growing humans from from seed. Uh, what could be in what could be in a clock? 
All right, so we probably need to find like a time somewhere that acts as a that acts as a uh, key. Hey, Rage Knot, welcome, man. Uh, help us uh, help us figure out this game, and try not to try not to be scared. That's the nice thing. So you all you <laughs> you all get to watch this game from the privacy uh, of your own home. And when it's scary, no one's going to make fun of you for, for crying like a baby. But when when the crow man comes back and scares the shit out of me, um, you all are going to laugh. I know it. Uh, you never seen this before? It's kind of like a room escape or like hidden object puzzly game. But it's a little bit creepy. You scream in fear on stream. Yeah, every time somebody comes at you, like a like a spy comes behind you. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. Okay, so we have to figure out the combination for this. Um, honestly, I don't know what else to do. What? Uh, oh, <laughs> maybe we should use the key in the lock. Or not. I thought for sure that would work. Uh, yeah, they do actually, Rage Knot. I've, I've had friends go to them, but I've never done it. Um, sounds pretty cool. So for some reason this key isn't working. I guess the black key does not go into the uh, brown lock. So it, uh, I'm kind of stuck. I feel like we've clicked. I've clicked on everything that I see. There's this jar we don't know what to do with. We need a we need a um, we need some kind of a passcode for this cabinet, and we need a time probably for this uh, clock. So I'm all up for ideas. Can I left right the screen? I don't think so. It it appears that oh. Maybe, maybe there's a better way to scroll the screen. Hold on. Ah, uh, look. <laughs> I, can just, I, can just, I can just click and drag. All right. Um, good call. Good call, pal. So we got, what's his name? John or something? I don't know. Super boring guy. Um, just hanging out. Just hanging out in his, in his house with his blood on the walls. Jericho, that's that's it. Click on his hair, and he's thinking about fire. He work he works hard. His garden is enormous. Um. So I guess we need to burn the log. That's probably a goal. Maybe we can pick it up now. Nope. But I'm digging this sliding sliding to move. All right, there's a. Uh, chest of drawers over here. Nothing in the first one. Matches. That will come in handy. Nothing in the third one. Fourth one's locked. And the key works! It's a hatchet. Now, always check under the dresser. That's really important in these games. Um, doesn't appear to be anything. So is the... I just want to do another recheck. It's a lot quieter now for me. Is the how's the volume for you? Is it appropriate or should I turn it up? Um, here's a straw poll. It's called chat. <laughs> Let me know. Hatchet Jericho's head. I okay, couldn't do that. Didn't work. It's fine on the side. Okay. All right, Pale says he hears nearly no game sound. All right, I'm, I'll turn it up a bit then. Delvina and... Uh, you all need better headphones. All right, how about... How, how's this? Oh, yeah. So good. But the problem is it comes and it goes. Like right now, there's no music. Boy.
Boy, that, that was some efficient axing. Slow pee in the background makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> it makes you feel creeped out. Oh shit, it's another key. Um, these look suspicious, these little circles, but I can't do anything with them. If James doesn't have bloody hands, <gasps> then who left the prince? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, uh, that's a good question. He's kind of, has, he always oh, fallen asleep. Fires make me sleepy too. It looks like he's thinking of Mildred. Can't blame him. She's a hottie. Um, all right. Well, we have another key. Crowmen have wings. I mean, how much like a crow does a man have to be before you just call him a crow? How many roads must a man walk down? before you call him a man. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. I think it's supposed to be the combination. Hatch the lock. All right. So like uh, top right and middle and left and bottom right. Top right and middle and left and bottom right. Okay, we got some Sanskrit-y looking jewelry. A watch. Okay, this is useful. It says eight. Uh, I'm, I'm really not good at these. I'm better at digital. Um, I guess that's 825. Oh, just kidding. Okay, it's just, yeah, it's just always 825. Um, thank you, thank you, Nate. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, yeah, it could be a mask, like, um, um, what are they called? I think, I think you've talked about them before, Pale, that there's, um, medical masks. But I think it was 825. Let's try that out. This looks like a second minute hand. Okay, so far the game's pretty pretty kind to us. Plague mask. That's that's the mask I was thinking of. Um something something happened, it kinda went yellow. This is kind of creeping me out. <laughs> Why? Why does there have to be a naked fat man? Oh, it's or Orville. What did I call him? Wilbur. It's Wilbur. Don't you recognize Wilbur? Oh, oh dear God. I mean, he's not thin. He's big, he's big bound. Okay. I, I, I get the feeling we're going to have to take his, his gubbins. <laughs> uh, Pale, is this what you wanted me to do? Um, I, I'm going to remove his nipple. This, this is a mature stream. Yeah, well, this is what you get for joking around, Pale. Uh, hold on a second. Um, so let me, let me actually put, okay, I have a slightly zoomed in version behind the version so I can see a little bit better. Um, but hopefully on your screen, this is big. I think we need to hatch at the nipple. I'm, feel pretty confident about that. Oh, we can pluck it. Oh, oh, okay. Was, <laughs> was that the... <laughs> I thought we were just going to be tweaking his nipple a little bit like friends, but instead we're going inside of his nipple. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. You know, it kind of looks like a tree. 
Nipples. Yeah, you don't know anything about nipples yet. <sighs> All right. Do friends in the U.S. tweak nipples? Yeah, it's just like you know how in France and in Italy, you, you know, you, you like kiss on the cheeks. In the U.S., we tweak nipples. <laughs> I, I couldn't say it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I really tried. I really tried to say it without laughing, and I couldn't do it. I'm so, I'm sorry, Delvina. I've, I'm sure I've ashamed I've shamed you. Delvina taught me everything I know about uh, keeping a straight face. I know. <sighs> All right, let's let's enter the nipple. Never thought I'd be saying that on stream. Oh, oh, this is this is how you get his heart. Of course. Now we're just gonna come out the mouth. Do we need his tongue? Let's get his tongue. Oh, we're back out. Everyone knows hearts are located. So speaking of which, I added that quote command. So if you guys want to quote me on this uh, nipple nonsense, this would be a perfect time. Um, maybe. So I'm thinking we put the heart in the jar. Per see, I'm a, I've got the I've got the sense for this game. Okay. Level done. Easy peasy. You have to do um, um, add quote, exclamation point add quote, and then type stuff. All right. What? So what? What's now? Oh, okay. Grow on the tree. So we can either click on this lady, click on this um, blank one. Um, summer, eighteen sixty-five. Finding love now. What happened to that fat guy? Why was he there? And did James kill him? This seems like something that the story did not satisfactorily explain. Okay. Uh, there's no sound right now. It's just silent. No, the other old man, whose name is, fuck, I forgot already. Anyway, this is Millicent, right? James looks happy, yeah. Yeah, old Millie. She's um, Oscar, yeah. Good call. All right, well, let's see what he's got in his hand. Oh, they're sneaking glances at each other. <laughs> uh, six pot Millie. All right, he's got a blank piece of paper. Presumably, you need to write, do you like me? Check yes or no. Uh, Millie's thinking about a heart. Now, it could be the heart that we put in that bottle, that jar. He's thinking about hearts. Okay, I was expecting something else in this bubble. Oh, he's got a hanky. Um, can, we, can we take her clothes off? No, okay. So, we need a rose because every proposal starts with a rose got to find another key um, all right the trees growing up and this old crow is hanging out he's got a key okay gives a feather give me that key give me the key crow give me the key god I hate you crow oh take off the thorns is that a no. I wish you could zoom in on these items. All right, I hate crows. So that's it. We have a. F Wait, what just happened? Okay, we have a feather, we have a rose, and we have a hanky. I have 
I have no ideas. Um, you need a hanky. You, you need a hanky. You need a feather. You need a rose. There we go. Okay. All right. I got it. I figured it out. Give the crow the rose and stab um, Mar with the key. All right. All right. All right. You, you all figured it out. Um, oh, maybe we should use... Oh, I bet we use the feather... Yeah, as a, as a quill, but we need ink. Oh god, what horrible bodily fluid are we going to find to use as ink? She's going to prick her, prick herself on the thorn. Oh, Delvina, Jinx. Jinx, Delvina. Wait for bird shit? That's not very romantic, Pale. Try again. Oh my god. All right. Wow. So she sniffed so hard, she bled out of her nose. And now we're going to write something with the blood. That's kind of creepy. What's it going to be? Will you marry me? <laughs> it's so romantic. Oh, I hope someone asks me to marry me with my own blood. Oh, she's, she's digging it. Oh, look what she's got behind her. And we all know what happens when the crow eats worms. It shits the diamonds. Go. There we go. Oh, that was unsettling. OK. So we've got a key and a lock. Right. It was a different. It was a different time. <laughs> um. Well, this is how we get the ring. Obviously. That's a good. That's a good point, Pale. That's a good point. And let that be a lesson to everyone. Um, marriage. Uh, is only meaningful if, if. You sign um, the contract in blood. All right, we got the ring. The hand's just chilling like a villain. Thank, thank you, Delvina. Now she's thinking about killing someone. And, and in another game, that would be a joke. But in this game, it actually makes sense. Yeah, true. Um, I mean, I guess you can, you can say that Quote did it. I mean, Pale did it. All right, so we, now we have two options. Um, now I could uh, I could poll the audience, but uh, it's you have literally no idea what these two things are, so I'm just going to pick one. Summer 1870, the staircase. Okay, so we've got like some sciencey looking things. Oh, you can swap them. Okay, I bet we have to make a, you know, a pattern. Something. One of these deals. And um, something like that. A little, little bit of, a uh, little bit of something, something, something. That looks pretty good. Something like, no, oh, no, fucked it up, fucked it up. Apparently, the, I don't think these two are connecting.
Uh, uh, okay. All right. I'm liking it. Um, I think that's a little too low. But I don't see any more that are in the middle. Get over there. Oh, that goes there. I feel like we're close. Um, what do I have wrong here? Oh, there we go. That goes there. That goes there. 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 Wait, it can't be that. It can't be that. So that means this has to go here and then here. Boom. Seventh, seventh to fifth position. Uh, all right, it's, we've solved one. Now the next one involves animals. I don't know anything about animals, so it looks like. There's also a position, a positioning system involved. Maybe heights, colors. We sort them by color. Uh, I, don't, I don't have many ideas about the animals. I'm gonna go on to the shape, the next shape one. Okay, Delvina. Delvina has a solution. Pig, goose. What the fuck's a goose? Is this a goose? Goose, crow, rabbit, rabbit. How do, how do you know that's a pigeon? Also, this didn't do anything. You're you're such a punk. You're such a troublemaker. Um, all right. This looks like a um, a hint of some kind. This looks like a a definite hint. Okay, open the window, let in some let in some fresh air. This is a very nice view this guy's got. Let's try these. So I think these are maybe based on color. Color and shape. So I think this must go on the edge because there's no brown that's on the left side. And then, um, but, and this must go on the left because there's no left on the right side. I mean, red on the right side. So then that has to go here to match the shapes. That has to go here, has to go here, has to go here has to go here. Boom. Now see, this is what I went to school for like 25 years to, to be able to figure out stuff like that. Yeah. This, but the problem is, you know, it's no fun to watch somebody just, uh, just completely decimate a puzzle like that. Like the person who made this probably spent weeks, you know, constructing this puzzle, but um, it's just kind of sad to, to tear it apart like that. I feel I feel bad. I have to say. All right, nice mustache, James. Very nice. This uh, this thing you got going on is uh, it's pretty it's pretty classy. Quote <laughs> was too long to type out. That's what that's what my quotes will have to be from now on. He's thinking of a hole, um, but we just met his wife in the last, ooh, is that too much? Sorry about that. Um, all right, another painting. Okay, this looks like we need to start taking screenshots because um, this, like, uh, this looks like the thing on the coffee table. 
I mean, it's not my fault. He's sitting here. He's alone. He's... What what else could this be? That's it's just it's nothing. It's not it's not me. That's just how it is. Um, spring 1859. My brother and I are in the final stage of finding the elixir. She did she did not die. She we just married her. What are you talking about bleeding to death? The alchemist. Just thinking about holes, 1850s pastime. Um, all right, we've got this deal again. It's like some kind of a grid, and there's circles and shit. Probably have to combine all three of them. You're such a dork. You, um... I'm not listening to your solutions anymore. Uh, so Yates said maybe it is height. Like, this one kind of looks short. This one looks next shortest, maybe. I think this is the height um, order, right? There's also the direction that they're looking. So maybe they shouldn't be looking at one another. Or maybe they should be looking at one another. Or maybe there's a hint somewhere else. All right, so it looks like here's where we enter. Oh dear, here's where we enter the solution to this puzzle. Hey, I forgot better. Uh, <laughs> I was I was gonna make a joke, but we're we're playing Rusty Lake, which is sort of a puzzle game, an escape the room game kind of game. Um, audience participation welcome. So help help me figure out what we're doing here. It's kind of creepy. So if you scare easily, you may want to turn away now. But don't turn off the screen. Just, just turn away. Uh, top left, bottom right triangle. Pale, are you just are you just saying shapes? I mean, top, middle, like, did you write these down? Um, you know, if, if we get into puzzle games, I should start, like, taking screenshots. Okay, you wrote it down. Um, <laughs> Delphine is the only liar. Um, all right, let me see what your top left... I got you. All right, I got you, buddy. All right, so the problem is there's there's multiple triangles, so you have to tell me which triangle. So, like, I think it's the triangle that looks to the right. Oh, shit. So it's tilted, so this all the triangles look to the right. So you have to tilt your head a bit. So this one's a triangle, and that one's a triangle. So this is the top left. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's an arrow. Yeah, oh, I guess I guess you could use the arrow. Yeah, if you're if you're a pleb. Uh, all right, tell me what to put. What are what are these other ones? Oh, you translated. All right. Well, what do I do, Pale? Tell me tell me what I do. What's the top row? You're solving you're solving two puzzles at once. Uh, top, middle, moon, okay. Um, okay, I got those, right? There's three. I, I bet the wife is the bad guy. That's what I think. Hey, little Lucy Lou. Welcome. All other circles?
did I do it right, Pale? Because it's not doing anything. Are you sure you turned it? This should, shouldn't this be a triangle? Yeah, you didn't, you, you didn't rotate. This needs to be a triangle. And this needs to be a triangle. So this needs to be a moon. So this needs to be a circle. Oh, the moon is below. Are they contradictory? All right. So circle, circle top, circle right, moon middle. Oops. Circle top. What did I say? Crap. Circle top, circle right, moon middle. Circle top, circle left. No, circle top, circle right, moon middle. OK. Top, circle right, moon middle. So So, so this is um, moon bottom left. I mean, triangle, uh, triangle bottom left, triangle bottom right. Sorry, triangle bottom left, triangle top right, moon bottom middle. So then, what's the one that we haven't seen? Is this? I think there's only one that's missing, right? Or no, there's three. There's three that's missing. Um. Okay. I really wish I could take a screenshot, and I guess I can, but I don't know how to do it easily. But um, there's probably a third note somewhere. Is my guess. When you translated, it was one of the picture frame. The picture frame. Oh, here's the third one. Okay, so this is um. This is really triangle bottom left, triangle top right, and moon bottom middle. Okay, so what are we? All right, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a diagram. Um, and and you can't see this, which is kind of uh, kind of bad. Um, and that uh, that's kind of me being a bad streamer. Can't think so fast. Um, okay. So, so this looks like I've got that. Then we've got um, triangle, triangle dot. Okay. Crap, crap. And the one in the book. Because every every good alchemist splits his secrets into thirds. Um, and and rotates them. All right. I think I have them all written down now. So um, super simple. So triangle. Triangle, moon, okay. <clears throat> this should be a triangle. 
this should be a moon. Should be a triangle. Okay. And um, circle, circle, moon. <laughs> so another lesson that we've learned today is always write things down. Just take notes because your brains are too stupid to remember things. This is true for me. This is true for me. Maybe not for you. It's true for me. I should say my brain is too stupid to remember things. All right, probably we need to use the binoculars on the window. That's my guess. I'm not, I, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think we must have rotated them wrong or something. Gorgonzola chili tortilla dip. Tortilla dip. So freaking hot. Could add some rice to it. Um, Uh-oh. What do we got here? Rabbit, crow, pig, scary guy. Deer, goose. Rabbit, crow, pig, scary guy, deer, goose. Oh, scary guy is the crow. Gotcha. Um, so that, okay. Now he lives in like a one room cabin. What is going on here? Okay, okay, I don't want to go down. Man of mystery. He's like um, Mike Myers. Is it where the clock used to be? No, it's where the, it's where all the puzzles used to be. It's like a bookshelf looking thing. Okay, this turned into a black hole. We can still click on these. Should we should we click on something? We can click on the heart or the black hole or the wallpaper? Are you not entertained? That's another thing is like does James see us? Are we James? I have no I have no clue. Do it. Huh. It says you've already finished this level. Um, have you played these, Little Lucy Lou? I know you said you like Escape the Room games. Alright, I guess they're just to remind us what we've done. Oh, spring 1867, childbirth. I remember 1867. It was a good year. It was very warm. Unseasonably warm. They must say. Looks cool. Uh, that, that dress is not working for her, I've just got to say. She's thinking about a spoon. As you do. Okay. Okay, alright, it's just a little, uh, bit of a tap there in the baby crib thing. And some, some bottles locked, nah, whoa, whoa. That actually might be, that might be true. It was a little too much, but uh, it might be true still. Oh, it's the dog. He still has a little secret for us, I'm sure. No thanks, you're going for a smoke. Yeah, just wait, just wait till we click on her, this, this one. See where we're diving into. All right, we got a spoon. Can't delete your own comments. 
It's I, I think that's I think that's okay. I mean, unless you want me to delete it, it's it wasn't actually too much. In my opinion, I don't know. I don't know if people can ignore other people on Twitch. Um. I guess if you can, it would be good for me to know, so I can ignore you. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> All right, we have Emma Vanderbloom, um, who's blue. Oh, we can move these. So there's like blue, and then you've got some flowers. This is a um, pokey. Uh, Mon flower. I don't. I don't. I have no clue. It's a. It's a tiger lily. Um, this one's white and it's got a time. It looks like maybe two o'clock. This one's red and there's a scary face thing. I don't see anything below these. But we have her spoon. Oh, there's drawers. Scissors. Want scissors. If it's not nailed down, we want it. Ooh, what if we can cut these up? No. Oh, there's faces at the top of each one. This is like bad hair day face. This is um, completely neutral face. And this is I got hit in the head with an axe face. Um... Soon to be added as Twitch emotes, I'm sure. Tap barrel. Okay, it's blood or Kool Aid. Oh, we got a mortar. Don't want the pestle. Okay. Sounds good to me. She wanted a spoon. What is she going to do with the spoon? She won't take my spoon. You wanted a spoon? I got you a spoon. What's your problem? No comment. Um, is it, do you need to salt the spoon? Maybe she wants food. I mean, she can't she just tell me what she wants? Yeah, maybe she's gonna like cook some meth or do you cook meth? Or does meth come pre-cooked and you just put it in the microwave? It does look like there's something on the spoon. Is that dog fat or pregnant? <laughs> Why not both? She needs a slotted spoon. Oh yeah, maybe she's gonna do um uh, what's that green stuff? Um, can't get the blood with the spoon. Can we cut the plant with the scissors? Oh, we can. It just says plant. Oh, we, let's use the plant in the pestle. Birth potion. <laughs> that was a little bit, uh, a little bit random. Uh, okay, all right. We got the birth potion. Here you go. Um. Uh, okay. This is gonna be horrible, isn't it? Oh, are you all ready? You all ready for this? Because I think something's happening. <laughs> Pale, you might want to turn your head. <laughs> oh, there goes the baby. Oh, I know, I know what to do. Don't worry, I'm a doctor. Just cut the umbilical cord. Um, pick up the baby, put it in the crib. Yep, I know all these things. It's a little, it's a little Spider-Man. Um, let's help her close her dress up. Oh, another baby, twins. I got you. I got you, girl. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, is it going to be triplets? Is it going to be triplets? It's triplets. As a doctor, I knew it was going to be triplets. Got an achievement for that, a Steam achievement. It says triplets. Two. <laughs> yeah, get ready for the crow to come out next. Oh. Placenta, okay. All right, are you peckish? Ah, oh, she's, she's done, and she has a much uh, trimmer figure. All right, now she wants the bottle. I think the babies want the bottle, but you know how it is. Oh, it's Mo, Larry, and Curly. This is Harry Potter over here. You can see because of the scar. Um, these This diaper thing looks like a sumo wrestler diaper. JJJ? -J -J? I don't know what JJJ -J -J is. These babies are the old... Yeah, they do. They look like old men. Um... Okay, so these are the pictures that are on the cards, I think. Like, there's the baby without hair, the um, Harry Potter baby, and then the baby with hair. JJJ is the guy always asking for pictures of Spider-Man. In, but in, like, what context? Is this a guy in the street? Is this a guy on the internet? Is this a guy on MTV Live? Like, who is JJJ? A reporter? Oh, he's in Spider-Man? Oh, so he's not a real person. I see, I see. Um, so what do you think? These are the three babies, I suppose. We've got the flower baby, the clock baby, and then the creepy-ass mask baby. And it's blue, blue, white, and red. Um, hey, doggy. Doggy, I got a little, I got a little snack for you, doggy. Oh, Doggy loves it. Doggy's all about him placenta. Give me that key. I fell asleep. <laughs> I like I like the two responses there. Yates like, oh god, and little Lucy Lou's like, you need the key. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what what needs to be unlocked? Was one of these locks? No. Oh, the, the cupboard. Okay. All right. Bottle, bottle, bottle. Uh, the bottle case. This is where we always kept bottles. There's the bottle case on the wall. My guess is that we have to fill these with um, like red, blue, and white liquid. But Oh, she's going to do the job herself. Well, thank you very much. Um, she'll only do one at a time, okay? Bottle with milk. Oh, maybe we should give it to the white, the white baby. That's that sounds weird. That's not really what I mean. Uh, but let's give it to the bald baby because it's there's white goop on it. Oh yeah, baby loves it. The 1850s ball-mounted bottle case. This case has something for everyone. Uh, where did we get the red juice, though? Is she going to give us red juice? No. Oh, I think we're just supposed to, like, make them quiet. Yeah, exactly. So, this one... They'll all take it. But um, I think probably he's going to get it. So now we have to find where to get red... Oh, the blood. Gotcha. Man, little Lucy Lou is all over top of this one. All right, so we got red stuff. Where are we going to get blue stuff? Um, this third one is flowers and blue stuff. 
We still have the pestle. I haven't seen any any blue stuff. The wallpaper is blue. You wanted to say something, you've already hit your inappropriate quota. The wallpaper is definitely blue. The other baby guy shafted, this baby gets wine. I I think it's blood. Yay, yay. Throw the pestle out the window. Bottle the sky. Oh, there is a window. Oh, shit. It's water. Okay. Y'all are y'all are good. Y'all are very good. All right, let's um let's hook the babies up. So I think they're okay. Yeah, water's blue in drawings. Um, all right, this family is growing by leaps and bounds. So you know what's interesting is that these are branching. I mean, they're literally branches. But maybe this is the branch where he doesn't find love, and this is the branch where he does. That would be cool. That would be a cool little thing. Let's see if he's. Let's see if there's no um, Millie over here. Yeah, it's just James. I bet that's what it is. That's kind of cool. And so instead of um, his family, he's focused on alchemy. Finds a fulfilling life without three kids. Well, it seems like he's he's going into the arcane arts. Um, all right, what do we got? All right, we got mustache in a jar. Circle plus. These all have a... I can't tell if... if I think this is... Seven or one, I think it's one pound, two pounds, and then these are question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, three, four, four, five. Okay. So maybe one of these water moving puzzles. It's a one. Okay. Thank you. I can't see as well as I used to, Sonny. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. James, what's going on? You, you like water moving puzzles, Delvina? Alright, he wants this elixir. We need to help him get it, I bet. Oh, what? Did that move? Did that move or am I crazy? I think I think I'm crazy. I think that moved, but it's it's getting it's getting under my under my in my head. This elixir will bring you eternal life or sudden death. Signed the alchemist. All right. Dog wants food. Okay. So we need to fill this up and um, you wouldn't risk that? I mean, what if you just waited right before you were going to die? But then it's kind of an easy choice, right? So then the question is just when do you start? When do you drink it? Little Lucy Lou and I are on the same page tonight. Take the potion a second before you die. All right, how do we solve this? So, it, 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 it to me this looks like a like a nine, but I, th I think it's a one. Delvina says it's a one, so it's a, it's a one. Um. So we, I guess we we need to measure. Uh, we need to measure these potions and then put in the one that's three, the one that's four twice, and then the one that's five. That's my guess. Oh, you can't see where my mouse is, can you? Sorry about that. So I've already I've already forgotten. Okay. Um, uh, 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and make the screenshot so that I can reference it. Yeah, but I, my mouse was outside the window when I was gesturing. Okay. Because I, I have two copies of the game up on the screen right now, and uh, I was gesturing to the wrong one. All right, so what I see here is that the plus sign is one pounds, one libs. Um, if, if you're in Europe, you can consider this one kilograms. Um, I don't think it changes the puzzle. And the dot is two, so that's three. So one and two is three. And then we can figure out which one is three by looking at whether they balance. That looks pretty balanced to me, but let's just check. Not balanced, so this is more than three. That's a little bit more than three. So that's four. So if I can put these in order, that would be great. Okay, I cannot. But X is four. Um, this is five. So two of these. Um, one of these. One of these. <coughs> the elixir. Another achievement. This game is really rewarding me. Um, I'm a little, it's from an aesthetic point, I'm a little concerned about this pillar, though. I feel like it was ill thought out. So this, let's just, let's just take stock of what we got here. Uh, this guy has no wife, he has no children. Instead, he spent his life, uh, perfecting this elixir that we figured out in about 10 seconds, let's, let's be fair. Um, and he's going to gamble his life to, to become immortal. Maybe when he's immortal, he'll find a wife. Okay, feed it to the dog? He really loves his dog. That's that's a little touching. Go for it, doggy. Come on, dog. You can do it. Live forever. Keep keep eating it. It's good stuff. It tastes yummy, doesn't it? Ah, dog likes it. Dog likes it. You tested on the dog. Okay, now he's going to take a shot. Uh-oh. A dog doesn't understand infinity. He's he did not fare so well. He did not he did not do so well. But we have a cup. Let's get the cup. <laughs> the dogs the dog's immortal though. Um so interest so what we're what we've been doing is actually going back and forth in these two diverged paths. That's pretty cool. I, I really like that. Who tests it on their dog? Well, you don't test it on your cat. I mean, come on. You gotta test it on your dog first, obviously. <laughs> um so okay, now that we understand these branches, I'll ask chat, should we should we explore the branch where he has a wife or the branch where he does not have a wife? and is dead. What do you all think? I'll take some tea. Well, I, what I want is irrelevant, Delvina. It's, it's what you want that matters. I'm merely an MC. The uh, merely, you know, combining entertainment with people. Pale wants me to alternate. All right, wife stuff. Wife stuff. 
All right, now it looks like we're playing the the role of the three twins, which don't look who don't look anything alike, by the way. So they didn't very try very hard. So this one's obviously a coal miner. All paths are created equal. That's that's definitely not true. Okay, he he this one's a little slow. Billy Bob is just a little bit slow. And I'm not talking speed if you if you get my drift. They're all coal miners. Yeah, kind of. Actually, I swear to God, this one looks just like my grandmother when she was a child. Like, she has this hair and this outfit and this stupid face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, looks like there's some honey. Okay, we got, we can just pick it up. There's a beehive. Um, yeah, Billy Bob is, uh, Billy Bob's struggling. She's maybe something. Oh, okay. We pluck we plucked a piece of her bow. Oh wait, there's a there's a thing too. Alright, we got a twig. Um so this is the tree that we planted at the beginning of the game. And uh I think it's I, th I guess it ties into all the stories somehow. And in fact Oh hold on. I think um, this is essentially the tree that we're using um, in the in the stage select, right? All right. Hey, soy nobody, welcome back. I um, so I've been thinking about your your name, and I wanted to say something last time, but I uh, I just didn't. Um, but or is it supposed to be like I am nobody, or you're like a like a vegan nobody? Like what's going on there? Can I combine items? I I don't know how I would if I could. Usually, what happens in this game is you have to put one item into something, and then you can apply the second item to it. You're you're nobody. Okay, so like Spanish, like soy soy nobody. Not like vegan. Um, now this fellow, he's going places. He he's oh he's winking at us. He wants a stick. Oh, I bet he wants a slingshot. See, I didn't even have to click his head to figure that one out. Uh, now he wants, I suppose, rocks. He's a he's a troublemaker. He's gonna be the one who kills everybody. Um, uh, he needs a rock. Okay. Okay. The honey, let's give the honey to the, to the really terrible guy. Oh, he just wants the butterfly. His purpose in life is to touch the butterfly. Which, which by the way, is not a nice thing to do. You shouldn't touch butterflies. What's her deal? She's just she she exists solely to give us a piece of ribbon. Okay, that's um that really uh is, you know way to go with quality, huh? That's what you wanted to do. You wanted to make a you want to make a slingshot. <clears throat> it seems like a lot of these games you've got that V stick. Sounds like the eighteen hundreds to you. Uh, we could. Ooh, what's here? With a pot cover and marbles. Oh, okay. Let's give this fella marbles. All right. Now, who's he gonna kill? I think he's. I think he's waiting for me to click. I feel bad about that, but um, I mean, you realize what's going to happen. He's going to he's going to hit her in the eye, and uh, and, and she's never going to learn arithmetic. 
<clears throat> the other timeline is filled with a diamond. That's true. Yeah, ooh, I never thought about that. I wonder if there's any kind of like interplay between the two um, the two timelines. Should I should I hit the butterfly? Honey in the jar? Diamonds. Diamonds are children, I think that's an easy choice. Um, it depends on how much the diamonds are worth and how much the children are worth. Because, uh, you know, on the black market, children go for... They're, they're not cheap. Trust me, they're not cheap. Well, he's a little grabby. Billy Bob is a little bit grabby. I'm not sure what's going on there. He's comforting her? Or, okay. Maybe the honey... Oh, okay, the honey for the butterfly. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's a jar! I didn't realize this was a jar. Stop, stop touching your sister like that. Uh, and the cover. Okay, good. Okay, stop. Yeah, yeah, you tell him. You tell him. He's a, he's a mean person. Why, why are we doing this? Oh, God. Uh oh, he wants to kill his uh, brother and sister. This is just this has just turned really really dark uh, real quick. This is the Harry Potter one, I think. He's got like something messed up on his head. Oh my God! I I think we have to hit the the bee's nest. Was that a choice? What, what did I do? You didn't even try to not kill this kid? I mean, like, I looked around. I didn't see anything else to hit. He's not happy. Uh-oh. Poor children. Their lives would be full of misery. But their legacy will be of great importance. Okay. Oh, we have branching. Oh, it's I bet it's about the three children. Oh, that's cool. This is neat. <coughs> All right, so we can do any of the three children, or we can see what happened to the dead man who maybe you you want me to do the crow voice next time. Uh, we can see what happened to the dead man who might be immortal. Uh, vote now. Uh, also, if you if you use bits, your vote counts more. <laughs> dead man, okay. 1870, the wake. Looks like his. Looks like this tree will stop branching. <laughs> oh, pale. Thank you. Your vote. Your vote counts ten times that of your peers. All right. What do we got? We got another. Who who does this? Who comes up with formulas and then? Uh, frames them and then puts them on the wall. That's what I want to know. Ten sacrifices, ten family members, one rebirth. So I think this is looking to put a tongue in a jar. <clears throat> okay. 
All right, we can do that. We can do tongues. I'm, I'm good at tongues. Uh, we got a <clears throat> maybe some kind of a marble thing going on. Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, I love I love puzzles. It's it's a very strange puzzle if it's a puzzle. Because I can't place anything. Um, you know, maybe they're looking for... Yeah, okay, so they want you to fit the piece in the piece. I guess. Okay, alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I've trained for this. This is, this is thrilling for you all, right? Watching someone do a jigsaw puzzle? Uh, that's... That's that's the only reason I ever go and visit my grandmother. Okay. Okay, doing doing good here. Okay, okay. It's getting hard. It's getting hard. Um, surely the head doesn't go here, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta try. I, I really thought it'd be that, though. You can still pick these up. Have I put them together wrong? Okay, maybe, let's come back to this. Let's come back to that. Watching you do this is better than doing jigsaw puzzles because you don't have to do the thinking, I see. All right, we got a casket. Oh, it's James. Poor little James. He he wanted so much for himself. Are you all telling me what to what to do in the uh, uh, in the jigsaw puzzle? All right, we, we need his rings. What? Oh, is this like the Tower of Hanoi? A little bit. I mean, it's it, it seems to be not actually difficult, but... There, there are some rules, like it won't go, uh, it won't go on this finger. But I can't put it on the pinky either. I'm not entirely sure I understand the rules. Uh, but this is something like Tower of Hanoi, if you're familiar with that puzzle, where there's discs on three um, daises, and you can only put discs that are smaller than other discs on top. Oh, max three rings. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. I I honestly I'm not sure I would have figured out that it was max three. All right. We got an eyeball. Uh. What now? Why did he have an eyeball in his belly button? I I couldn't say. Oh, what's this? I guess we have to make a pattern of some sort. Hmm. 
This is a little deer. Okay, we're collecting some money. Is that where you keep your spares still, Vina? All right, all right. Let's let's go back. So, um, <laughs> Lucy Lou is is frustrated because she knows how to do this puzzle, but it's difficult to tell me how to do this puzzle. Uh, the pe so Pale says the pedestal piece is on the shelf. So I see these ones with the hard line, second shelf. Oh, uh, brilliant. Brilliant. This is the best. Y'all are the best chat. Uh. Just uh, exhaustion here. And exhaustion doesn't work, so let's see. Bottom, bottom right, really? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I see. Okay, all right, all right. So you actually have to drop it in the right place. Um, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This is his ancient Roman ancestor. Beautiful. Actually, doesn't this look like um, Oscar or whatever, the first, the first old guy we met? Oh, he needs eyeballs, I bet. Yeah, he does. And coin. No. I was thinking eyeballs like, uh, I mean, coins on the eyes, like in um, ancient Rome. This will need so much glue. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, what do we got over here? Candle. Oh, nothing. So we have these two coins. And that's pretty much it. It must be something old James has for us. We could take his... Oh, co coins on the eyes. Oh, it is coins on the eyes. Okay. Now give me your... There we go. We got his other reserve coin in his mouth. Delvinia, do you keep one in your, in your mouth as well? Ooh, we got a knife. I know what that's for. There's no, there's no question, really. What? I thought for sure we'd be carving up James. What do we need? We need a tongue. Okay. All right. Let's let's go for the face then. So clean and sterile. I just figure when you've got a knife, what are you gonna do? You're gonna put it in somebody's chest. Why would you? Why would you take their tongue? Doesn't make sense. I mean, just practical. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, really. You've got a knife. Um, it looks like we're done with that branch of the tree. So, oh no, just I lied. Hold on. Yeah, I think we're done with that branch of the tree, so we've got to choose one of the children. Yeah, yeah Delvina's ch always chopping things up. All right, so we've got um, creepy Harry Potter who is going to kill everybody. We've got um, my grandmother, and then we've got this uh, little do-gooder asshole guy. All right, so we got Ye wants Doofus. <laughs> Doofus is a good name. Doofus and Gallant, maybe. Lady first says Pale. 
Let Lucy Lou says Lady first. B head should be last, says Delvina. Okay, you got outvoted, Gate. Sorry. <clears throat> Alright, her actual name is Emma. She's grown up now. And we have some flower puzzles. I want to say this was one of the flowers that was on um, one of the baby pictures. So one, two, three, four. Maybe we mix colors. Probably we mix like blue and red to make purple or whatever. Oh, I bet that's it. So blue. So the first one is orange. To make orange, you use red. Nice job. And yellow. Yeah, I bet that's it. I'm not exactly exactly sure how to do this, but I think that's the idea. Pollination or not safe for work. Did you know that bees do not have kneecaps? <clears throat> Emma's looking uh, a lot more stately these days. Uh, very suspicious. You don't want any more B facts. Thank you for subscribing to B facts, Delvina. Um, so, it takes about two million flowers to make a, p a pound of honey. Thank you, Delvina. Um. <laughs> uh, in the lifetime of, a, of an average bee. Uh, a bee will make one twelfth of a teaspoon, honey. <clears throat> All right, she she wants flower number one. She she looks really... She's She looks like uh, Claire Underwood, like she's gonna fuck someone over. Bumblebees are so fat, or too fat, to fly for longer than about two minutes. Is that true? Is that true, pal? Ho! Uh, or garden weasel. I don't know what that is. We can still we can still inspect this tree, but can't seem to do anything. Um. All right, so probably we need to put the plant in this pot. Oh, this one's white. So we can uproot them. No, we can upper this one. Okay, what if we move the B to red? He picks up red, you see? But I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. Bumblebees have a stunted stinger. They can penetrate little to nothing, so they bite. Now you're making stuff up, Hale. Get out of here with your false facts. Um, all right. I think this is a color puzzle, but I do not know the mechanics of it. Does anybody have any ideas? They have the best knees. The pots have their stem type on it. So this, this one, I guess, looks like four. This one is three. Uh, I guess this one is two. Unclick trowel. I feel like I'm reading a walkthrough sometimes. Move B to color. Move B to white plant. I think I thought I tried that. Let's see. So if we want to do one, we'll do red. Oh, nice job. All right. So then we'll do yellow. This is exactly how it works in real life, too, by the way. So then we'll trowel this. And oh, trowel is on. Trowel is like erase. Okay. So 
That's not what we want, but I, I can figure this out again. So red. Yeah. Did you know this is how bees actually cross pollinate plants? It's kind of amazing. So what am I supposed to do with this, um, this plant? Oh, it doesn't look right, does it? It just doesn't look right. It looks like a, the wrong plant. <clears throat> let's let's try a different color and see what happens. Let's do um, purple. You think I have to? You think I'm supposed to triple the colors? Let's try it. What do you get when you cross two red flowers? Yeah, it looks just the same. Um, okay, all right, let's try this. What, what do we get if we add a little bit of green to it? There you go, so that's about the stem. So we got a stem from that. So we have to add a stem. So what happens if we pull this up? It's dead, okay. So, I think we need these other stems. I think I'm missing a tool to move the plant. I I don't think I am, but I'm willing to explore some more. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. I like that idea. Let me check out what Claire has to say. She's she's pretty chill. So I, I don't see anything else. So I think unless you see something that you want me to explore, I think this is the puzzle. So let's let's try what Yate was saying. So we do red to yellow and a little bit more red. Oh no, that's it. Ha, that's a that's a that's a very good um, very good intuition. So multiple people said more red. How did what made you think that this wasn't the same color? Because it was identical. <laughs> it was identical colors. All right. So now this looks exactly like one. So I bet we can pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> And um, and now we have the stem for two to use, so we've unlocked it. Let's let's give her one, since she's into uh, she's into it. Now she wants two. God, it's so demanding. The petals. Well, I thought the petals weren't the same either, but it's red orange, not just orange. Wow, that's um. That's some pretty specific color expertise. <clears throat> uh, I, I mean, all right. Look, let me. Let's just go over here again. <laughs> that is the same color. I think the petals are wrong. Totally agreed. But the color is exactly the same. All right. Now that I've said my piece. Um, well, I don't see a colorblind option in this game, so fuck off. <laughs> you guys, you guys uh, shouldn't, you shouldn't um, put people with disabilities down. All right, what do we got? So this is, this is like, what color would you say this is, color experts? Red? <laughs> You're going to check the color codes? Oh my god, okay. Um, this has got some red in it. I guess it's got some blue in it, right? Wait, why is why? Oh, because I'm picking them.
All right, little Lucy Lou says red, yellow, blue. I just did uh, red and blue. Let's add some yellow. Now that is not the same color. Even I know that, right? It looks brown. All right. Uh, all right, red, red, blue, red. Come on, B. Don't fail me now. This is, are, are you all on the edge of your seats? Oh shit, that's three, sorry. I think I did the, I think I misclicked, I did two blues. Red, blue, red. That is it. So now we add the goofy stem thing. Stem, sorry. And then we get number two. And then we unlock three. Okay, let's get the two. She's all in flowers. You know, she probably wants three. What a surprise. And now you're going to say it's red and blue because it is. It's purple and red plus blue makes purple. That's how you make purple. Uh, I looked it up. But what crazy color do you want me to add to it for your imaginary color palette? Another blue. It's just, it's just like you're just making this stuff up. This is crazy to me. Ridiculous. 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 All right, three. So this this one is the third one. Nonsense. Oh oh, and we need stem one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So we got three. Give it to Claire. Claire's not impressed. Now she wants four. Now this is, we have to take everything we've learned and combine it. <laughs> All right, four is like a light blue. So I'm gonna say it needs blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Okay, and what do you want me to add to this? Maybe blue? Maybe more blue? Okay. This looks like, um, uh, what's that plant that you put on pizza? Uh, what's that, what's that plant? Artichoke. <clears throat> All right. And then it needs this thing. <laughs> you're, you're on point tonight, little Elizabeth. All right. I think I hope that does it for Claire. Now, what are you going to give us, Claire? Because we've been giving you all sorts of stuff. Also, don't her legs look like just a little bit too small? I'm pretty sure her legs are just this big. Um... Okay, Stardust. Okay, just gonna click some Stardust. Just gonna keep clicking Stardust. These are like shapes. Is this a puzzle? <laughs> sure, she's self-conscious about it. Oh my god. These, these legs are like toothpicks. I mean, look at them. They're like two, three pixels tall. She gave you plant light. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do with this plant light? It looks like it's forming symbols. Thank you, Yate. Thank you. Oh, Claire's... Okay, whoa, where did those go? I think we all know where those went, but uh, I'm not going to say it. can't just say she has baby legs. Oh, yep, yeah, she totally... They totally went where I thought they went. 
Totes, my goats. All right, nice job, Claire. Nice job. All right, so we can do um, Claire's baby. We can do uh, Gallant, or we can do Goofus. Yeah, seriously, this game is really, uh, it's really given, given women not a lot of options. I mean, to be fair, it's historically accurate, but at the same time, like, they could do better than that. Why is everyone trying to get pregnant in weird ways? I guess that's more fun than the regular way. I don't know. Goofus will get pregnant too, take the mid. So I think a lot of people want me to go for the second person. That's Gallant. Doofus must be last, it is known. Okay. Um, okay. Stuff of mine looks good. It, it was looking bad earlier, but it looks good now. All right, his name is actually Samuel, but that is not what I will call him. Spring 1889, the clock. Um, okay. So he's grown up, and he's become some kind of a carpenter, maybe? We got a gear, we got some glue, got some glue. I really like this this outfit here. The the headband and the like flowy hair. Um and this really broad what, what do you call this? Like a broad necked shirt. I, I I'm really into that. Coming soon to Rusty Lake. Six and three. The amazing Ida, fortune teller. Oh, it's a gear. Okay. Gallant looks like he inherited James' depression. I think this family is cursed, honestly. Um, I don't think Claire is too uh, is too thrilled about being alive either. But at some point, I need a finger. All right, we got a saw, so we're, we can cut off someone's finger. What's going on, buddy? What do you want? You want a saw? Well, I've got a saw. That it was light, it was right at your feet. You could have picked it up. Maybe maybe he's goofus. What in the world? Drag saw hit wood glue. Yeah, I think that that's the exact correct uh, expression. Drag saw. Oh my god. Oh god, that's awkward. Okay, all right. If I do it from the tip, it's better. Hit wood. <laughs> what? I think they're supposed to be cutting pieces that are like in particular uh, but I, I'm failing. So the problem is I can pivot the saw, but I can't move the pivot. Um, it's just like what my grandfather always told me, measure twice, cut once. But he doesn't have a tape measure. Um, hold on just a second. Um, should So I've actually dropped some frames. But I guess that's not that's not what would cause you to buffer. Um, I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Maybe something is going on. I'm it's mess. It's messing you up. All right, I'm trying to open up all my windows again to make it right. Okay. Um. Yeah, if any if anybody else has buffering problems, let me know. But I'm definitely seeing some drop frames. But otherwise, things things look okay. Things look normal. Um. So, like I was saying, I can't move the pivot. So he all he can do is change this angle. Uh, 
All right, let's come back to that. Everybody good? Got a little window, another gear. Okay. I uh, bet we have to put these gears in this clock. Now, this is the clock where the fat man fell out of. Looks like these gears are different sizes. Oh, okay. We have to find the right size. Ah, okay. These, these can move, so we put those on. I guess at the end, we're supposed to rebuild this thing. Um, these kind of look like boards that we need to cut, you know, and fit in there. Don't you think? You figured it out, Lucidly? Oh, I can move it. I think, I think, so I'm not sure if you were asking me if I had figured it out, but I think I just did. So this is like, we have to figure out where we can cut to make that shape by moving the pieces of wood. And, and I, I assume there's no flipping. So um, this is like a group. Uh, you have to do it with just one cut. So something like, you know, and then you have to put them, and then you have to glue them. I think, I think I did that one. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, <laughs> I, oops, that's, <clears throat> next piece, please. Oh, it's actually like certain angles. Yeah, so I can't flip these. So you have to cut it. Uh, you have to cut it in the correct orientation. Okay. Got it. I am a carpenter. Um, this is kind of shit. I, I'm really bad at stuff like this. V visualizing geometry. Car carpentering is easy. You can't even spell carpentering. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, something like something like this. Didn't do this either. <laughs> uh, okay, so that goes there, and this goes here. Easy peasy. Give me that thing. Yeah. Okay. Ready. What does that? What does that mean? How do I make? How do I spell out ready? Just kidding. All right. So we've got all these pieces, and now we have to fit them in. Um, here's another jigsaw puzzle that I'm sure you'll. You know what's really funny? It's the way this controls. So I'm not moving my mouse, but you see how it pulls to the left? I'm not moving anything. It just it just glides to the left, um, no matter where you put it on the screen. It's very weird. 
So see where the cursor is. It was the same with the. Um, uh, so it's so weird. It was the same with the um, the bust pieces. Uh, what the hell? Oh, you're saying it's, it's written right. <laughs> the fact that she didn't know whether it was spelled right is enough. Alright, it looks like we're missing a gear, and it's a big one. Uh... I, now again, I know what he's thinking about, but I don't. I don't know if it's appropriate for Twitch. If you were a gear, three, three and six. If you were a gear, where would you be? Carpentry. Because there's not a whole lot of places left to look. Any Anybody have any idea where this gear might be? Oh, well, we found some matches, so there's still secrets left to be had in the carpenter's trousers. Um... Check his mouth. Uh, he's just he just wants to still I mean uh, dowel maybe I'm not exactly sure what that is um, I feel I feel so much more free now that I've marked my channel as mature uh, what matches what do we do with matches yeah I think we need one more gear. Um, a little looser though, because I can't. I, I mean, we have another peg at the very least. Remember what I was saying? And I was just talking, like, just because I can't stop talking. <clears throat> um, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. All right, but now we've got mashes and glue. What are, what are we going to do? Oh, we have to set it to six, what was it, six and three? Six and nine? I can't remember. I said it like five times. Uh, the hour hand is on three. The minute hand is on six. The hour hand is on three. The minute hand is on six. All right, the universe loves us. Oh God, it's the gypsy, or the fortune teller. Like, isn't that a killer outfit? Her hair is just on point. Thank you for le pip. Okay. Okay, he's going to start smoking. Okay. That makes no sense whatsoever, but I guess that's what we've come to expect. Okay. He's happy now. He's fixed his clock, and, and all is right in the world. Um, 
I guess it's just setting him up for disappointment when uh, his brother kills him. All right, so we've got baby um, Claire. Um, I don't know what that, I don't know what this is. Talvina wants degenerate, which is um, Goofus. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right, Delvina. I bet it is the gypsy. Oh, I want the gypsy then. Maybe the gypsy will um, uh, redeem this game's uh, uh, portrayal of women. All right, so two for two for the fortune teller. All right, let's do fortune teller. Well, she marries Samuel and has a baby. I think we eventually need to get to like 12 people, right? Because we have to kill 12 people. Okay. We've seen these symbols before. Hello. What is this? The Empress Death. Okay, 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 okay. So um, we had a crown. So the crown is the... Crap. Screenshot. So what I've got is, it, I, I really should put this up for people, but I don't have a, a good way, a quick way to do it. Um, but essentially this shape, it has a crown. So my guess is <clears throat> that it would be the Empress. Um, there's this one, the hanged man, so there's one with X's through the eyes, and that would be this one. Um, okay, the devil has a circle and a dot, so now we just have to figure out these other three. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I, I, so, I like her hair so much. Uh, so I was wrong. This is the hanged man. So the hanged man is a circle with a with a line. So then, what's the dead man? Oh, death. Okay, death is this one. Okay, good. Uh, well, I don't really need the other two. We can just guess. That's a uh, that's a little bit cheaty, McCheaterton. But sometimes games require you to do that. Oh, whatever. You'll you'll live. All right. Here's the here's one of them. <laughs> you call <it> hacks. <laughs> uh. Okay. A glass sphere. Some would call this a crystal ball, but. Uh, What are you talking about? You die because of my choices. Uh, I guess she wants a crystal ball. Yes, she does. All right, all right. It's, it's enough out of the peanut gallery. Uh, it just flashed a picture of a hanged woman, I believe. Okay, and a man who's got blood coming out of his eyes. 
This is not looking good for this family. Oh, there was Gallant. I mean, Goofus. I'm also seeing symbols. That looked like... Um, that looked like a... Uh, yeah, I think Claire was hanged. Oh, uh, look. See the symbols? It was like a circle. So, so um, that looked like James. I don't know. That's uh, the, the devil. This is... What is this? The devil has a triangle. That was um, Goofus, I think. Goofus has a telescope. This is crazy. What do we need these symbols for? Are we trying to move these? Any ideas? Maybe we're supposed to move these to be these new symbols. Yeah, okay. That's what Pale thinks, too. So the devil is a triangle with a line through the horizontal. The devil is a triangle with the line through the horizontal. Okay. The hanged man is the circle with the slash through the middle. Okay. I shouldn't keep going out, but <clears throat> that's the devil. We've had that one. Hangman. Empress is two semicircles that are opposed. Okay. Okay, the, he's just like, he looks like Goofus, and he's got the vertical slash through the triangle. So he, he would be the hermit? So then, so that's not it. He's not the hermit. The star, why the star? Oh, he had a telescope. Dur, her, 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 her. Okay, you're totally right. Good call. All right. Very nice. Um, we're really good at this uh, fortune telling stuff. This game is pretty interesting, Soy. Have you played stuff like this? Looks like the family's all together. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think he's the bad guy. I, I don't. I feel like the crow. The crow's not the bad guy, but prob. I don't. I don't know. She's a baby. And that is all I saw. Wow, okay. Alright, real talk. What in the world do you think this is this game doing? I have my own half semi-theory. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Maybe James is the crow. Crows are natural observers. Well, thank you for that science fact, Pam. She didn't have a baby. Yeah, she's uh, she's she's living for herself. But seriously, how do I get my hair to do that? How many people have we seen? Uh, I don't know. So there's this thing over here. You, it says 12 out of 33, which means I don't even think we're halfway through the game. This is the longest um, uh, Rusty Lake game I've ever played. All right, Emma's kid. 
Anybody any have, have an opinion? Is it time to see what Gallant has to say? I mean, Goofus. So one vote for one vote for Goofus. How many lifetimes? Oh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe the game ends when we get to the end of one branch. Uh oh. Well, okay. I take it back because we did get the end of James Branch. All right. Two for Goofus. Unless anyone speaks otherwise, we want to go for Goofus. Okay. His actual name is Albert, but who gives a shit? Look at this, this pillar's in the way. It's very strange. Okay, we have a mask. He's obsessed with butterflies. This is not going to turn out well. I can tell you, I can guarantee it. Telescope and another mask. Uh, I think I think you're right, Pale. So he's he just he wants another butterfly because he's all about some butterflies. Mm, okay. It's What's happening over here? It's a window. Probably look out with a telescope. All right, watering can. We've got some more of these symbols. These turn into eight positions or so. Um, okay. These probably have to plug something into them, but otherwise I don't see what to do with them. And that is it. I'm already kind of stumped. The window? I don't think I can do anything else. I can... Yeah. The watering can... could be used... These, not really. I think we have to fill it up first, probably, and then put something here. I don't know what it's, it's in. I, blah, I don't know what's in his hand, but I tried to get it. It looks like a knife. Oh, it is a knife. So this is a handle, and this is the blade. Um, but he won't give me anything until we give him a butterfly. Um. All of a sudden, I'm thinking uh, gorillas. He looks like the dude from Gorillas. I mean, not not a person, but the cartoon. Oh, we, okay. I can I take off his mask. So the we have to figure out what mask he needs, I suppose. This is crazy. I, I have no idea what to do. Um. Automod tried to hold what comment? That he's going to kill the butterfly? <laughs> That's funny. Thank you for, for being uh, Mod Delvina. Because I actually, on my setup, I would never would have seen that. Which is yet another reason why I need a second monitor. <clears throat> um... I'm out of ideas, so, oops, did not mean to do that. So you all have got to figure this out or we're stuck. Let me know if you want me to check out anything in more detail. I can't click on this dais um, or this lamp. It must be something we haven't seen, like maybe in the wa wallpaper. Go back to the suitcase. 
the suitcase um, just has a butterfly and it's it needs numbers. Um, this thing has symbols, but we don't really know. So I mean, these rotate. So they can conceivably encode numbers, but uh, probably not. Put on the mask. I can't. I can't take things out of the game, Delvina. Sorry. Oh, you mean you mean put the mask on him? Maybe this changes what happens in the. Oh, it does. So this is. Oh, this. Yeah, this. You, I, I know you meant you wanted me to wear the mask, honey, but you, I can't take things out of the game. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Delvina. Um, <sighs> thanks for being my ma, Delvina. <clears throat> All right. So we have water in the can now. So what we... I didn't even try. <clears throat> so what we learned... Um, through uh, Little Lucy Lou and Delvina's um, idea is, I guess, whichever match mask he puts on changes the room in some way. That's my guess. So we could hop back and forth between different versions of the room. Um, like, okay, I poured water down here. I got a key. That's moving us forward. So what do we use a key for? Maybe over here. We got another mask. Okay, so let's try this mask. This is the white mask. Yep, looking totally normal. Just just a little guy with his mask and his knife. Um, everything's ice cold. What's cooler than being cool? I'm sorry. I'm really I'm really sorry. Uh, I just tried the first thing. I mean. I assume that it only works for one of them. Usually these games aren't are, um, branching in that kind of way. <laughs> Thank you, little Lucy Lou. Little Lucy Lou, right? Because isn't that the name of the woman he uh, calls out in that in that song? Um, all the Beyonces and Lucy Lou's. Yeah, that that works really well. It's almost like I thought of that, but I. I, I didn't, sorry. All right. Uh, we have an icicle, which in a pinch will act as um, a, a blade, a uh, murder device, or a lock pick. No, not a lock pick. Okay. Um, okay, okay, we're just going to stick it in this pipe. Man, y'all are too smart. Too smart. I accidentally did it. Yate thought it was such a good idea that he typed it in, and it was right. Nice job. Also, don't look up the walkthroughs. <laughs> All right, we have, uh, we have binoculars, so probably we need to take off the mask and then check out the normal... Uh, <laughs> Pog champ. Um, I guess we look for a butterfly. Uh, I, I I don't see a butterfly. Maybe we're looking for numbers or shapes. We could also be looking for numbers or shapes, right? Because if we could get into that. Um, uh, into the briefcase or the dresser or whatever it is. But I, I don't see shit. Um, it just looks like a little vista, a little valley. Maybe we should do it with the mask on? Uh, we could try it. Oh, 
Okay. Yep. Yep, not creepy. Not creepy at all. So... Let's see. So it looks like that gives us circle on right. I'm just matching up the shapes with what the picture had, and then this one is like that. So now we need to find the other two. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, I took a screenshot. I'm. Um, I don't trust. Uh, I don't trust recollection of uh, these shapes anymore. All right. In the blue mask world, I, I don't I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Okay. This guy, this guy is is a man with a crow's head. And I honestly it creeps me out more than if he had wings. So boop boop and boop. Oh god. This this one does not look good. This is called the moon mask. I got an achievement for this. Um The owl guy from an in flames album. I don't I don't know what that is. But hey, he looks so much happier. Um Oh dear. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course. Okay. Um, I think this is, I think this is us. I think this is me. Oh, he's waving. Hello. Hello, me on the moon. Two. Are y'all writing this down? Three. One. Zero. Five. <laughs> Oh, five, two, I see. The first one was a number. Okay, five, three, five, two, three, one. I thought it was waving. Five, oops, two, three. All right. We got our butterfly. Are we the crow man? Maybe. What if, what if we were, do we really want to give this guy the butterfly? Do we have a chance also? I mean, a choice. I don't want him to stab a butterfly. I'm a cool, a cruel, cold hearted person, but I don't want him to stab a butterfly. Please don't. I have to click on it. Oh, it's making me click on it. I can't click the wallpaper. God almighty, it, it actually makes me feel like I'm doing it. <clears throat> uh, what else got held? Stabby stab the butterfly? Butterflies don't bleed like that. There's, I mean, that's a lot of blood. He's creepy as fuck. Jesus Christ, Albert. Get it together, man. Uh, 
All right. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. You, I'm going to give you 15 seconds. One, two, or three. Little Lucy Lou wants to see more of uh, Albert's story. All right, three it is. <clears throat> just too, just too slow, pale. Sorry. If I had seen the tier five, I would have uh, <laughs> switched it around. All right. So now we've got um, Mary, Ida, Samuel, Albert. Everybody's involved. The whole family plus the the uh, fortune teller. Um, <laughs> Pale, ig ignore them. I want you to give me as much money as possible. That's uh, that's the only thing I can possibly tell you. All right. This is weird. All right, so we've got everybody here. We have a card that it looks like we can give to people. Oh, it's a logic puzzle. The high priestess always tells the truth. The devil always lies. The chariot lies only once. Uh, right now, little Lucy Lou is grabbing a pencil and paper. I can, I bet you money. The empress tells the truth only once. Uh, look outside. Okay. I'm going to screenshot this for myself. Am I, am I wrong? Did you not grab a paper and pencil? I thought you'd grab a paper and pencil to like um, try to figure out who's who's the liar and who's the truth teller. The card is hidden behind the top left corner of the photo. So I can tell you one thing. This game started off pretty slow and it's gotten a lot more interesting uh, is, my, is my take on this. Um, all right, since this is going to keep happening, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to share. Um, I'm going to try to share another window. This this may get complicated for me because I kind of suck at OBS, but hold on. Um, So, does that, how ridiculous, oh god, hold on, how ridiculous is this, is this, is this ridiculous? Uh, I'd love to trim this window, but uh, that's not going to happen. All right, so chat, Rusty Lake. All right, so, you know, probably you don't need to see more than 10 lines of chatter. Push it behind the, oh, uh, uh. It should be behind, it is behind my uh, camera. Camera's in front. Camera, camera's always in front. Uh, it should be as good as I can get. Drag it up some, drag this. Oh, good call. Good call. I mean, what I really should do is do like a transform crop or something but I don't even know how, I don't even know how to do it I can do I could do crop that get that rid of that white stuff but this is this is this is all I'm gonna do live so if um, if anyone has any complaints um, go jump in the lake all right don't actually jump in a lake. I love everybody. I love all of you, but you know what I mean. All right, good. So um, what I can do is when I take another screenshot, it'll replace this one, I think. All right, a card is hidden behind the top left corner of the photo. 
Okay, the locker code. Oh my God, this is this is going to be hard. They have multiple comments. The locker code ends with 94. Like I need to take screenshots of all of these things and somehow put them on the screen. Um. <laughs> this is crazy. This is way more in depth than I uh, expected from this game, I think in general. Oh no, I lost my bookmark. Shoot. But I think that maybe, well, my, my thinking is that the way we figure out who is who is by reading these clues. So, so she said it's summer. I don't even remember. Also, there's no audio, is there? Um, here, let's do this. It's winter. Okay. All right. It's winter. Should we do the next one? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to you to take notes because I cannot keep all this straight. And if I did, you couldn't see it. So, um, yeah, Ida's the gypsy. Ida. I idolize her. My brother is not married, which is. I actually don't know whether that's true. Card is hidden right of the painting. Let's figure out what whether the painting. So there's. This is drawing Albert, Samuel, and Emma. I can't seem to click anything. All right, the painting. Can't seem to click. Oh, he, oh, can I wear my mask for the family photo? All right. So here's the, the there's a card in the top left corner <clears throat> of the painting. Oh, there is another painting, though. There's a key in the bottom right corner of the... Um, this is the this is the dude who we said was kind of serious. He was the brother of the fat man who fell out of the clock. This is Claire. Well, I'm calling her Claire. Um... All right, I don't know if I don't know if you want me to reveal any more facts. Look, you want to do Ida? All right, so uh, the card is hidden behind the top left corner of the photo, which is correct. No. It's not correct because it, she says photo. Is this a photo? It looks like a drawing. I guess it would have to look like a drawing since this game is drawn. So it's a photo. <laughs> I was thinking it's not a photo, so it's not it's not true. Uh, the locker code ends at 94. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, give me a break. Hold me to such high standards. So she lied about whether it's summer or not. We don't know the veracity of this, though. Um, 
All right, who's who's next? Ida. I'm just going to do Ida. So Ida and um, her brother Samuel. Sorry, not her brother. Ida and perhaps uh, her her husband, but the brother Samuel. Um, Ida says a key is hidden under the newspaper. That is, well, there there is no newspaper. found a newspaper. But I don't think there's a key. So she's lying about that. Alright, so she's lying about that. Well, there could be more than one key, Delvina. I mean, I just wanted to make sure. Um, okay. The devil has my photo in his pocket. Well, that's true. The locker code ends in 46. Check Goofus's pockets. You can't you can't just go rummaging around in people's pockets. A key is hidden under the newspaper, okay? All right, I'm going to do Samuel. My sister died. Hey. Conspiracy confirmed. The locker code starts with 37. I'm willing to bet that that's true. A key is hidden behind the bottom right corner of the painting. That's true. All right, so it should be 3794, 3746. Either way, we figure out uh, something. So let's do that. 3790. It's 3794. So uh, the first woman was telling the truth about that. So here we have another card. <clears throat> All right, so these hands So San Claire is the chariot. Ida is the empress. Serial killer guy who I would guess is that. So we still need one more card. Oh, we have the key. Sorry, my bad. Oh, the devil. Okay. The devil. Oh, that's... Oh, I get it now. I get it. So the devil has a so-and-so picture of me in his pocket. So the devil, this has got to be the devil. Oh, you guys have already figured it out. You're, you're too smart for me. So high priestess must be Samuel and Goofus is the devil. Is that what you, is this, uh, There's only 24 combinations, so I can just try them all. Oh my god. Good call, Delvina. Uh, good call, Yate.
But see, this guy, to me, is much more threatening than the raven. Yes, that right. <clears throat> okay, cool. So we have a skull of some great beast. We do not want your goat products. Why does it scare me? Oh, why not? What do we do with a skull? Let's give it to the guy who likes masks. I... Oh dear God. All right, one, two, three. You got 15 seconds. And the more, the more money you give me, the better of a person you are. So I guess we could have figured out whether um, people died if we like followed their story along and stuff like that. And if we followed Ida and Samuel, we'd figure out whether they were married. Uh, things like that. All right, we've got two for three. And two for one. My, I want to go for Emma, personally. Goofus is too interesting, which means we need to do the other ones first. I, I like to save my marshmallows till, uh, till later. Uh, Frank is uh, is adorable. I, I, I have a feeling Frank is going to die. I have a feeling Frank is going to die. Got to put together a teddy a teddy bear. Got to make a jack o' lantern. We have to help um, the devil kill some people. Need a rope. Okay, there's an arm. That looks like something I can pick up, but I can't pick it up. Do, do, do. Let's put the arm on and jack o' lantern. Of course, of course, of course, of course. He really likes masks. Oh, he likes masks so much. Thank you for the key. He goes on the lock, teddy bear head. Boom, I'm just knocking this one out. Now, what do we do with the teddy bear? We use it as bait. So we put the teddy bear at the edge of the well and then invite the child to come pick up the teddy bear. No? Okay. Uh, there you go, buddy. Okay. Are we drowning a kid? I mean, do you see rope? Oh, the, the swing. The swing has rope. I can't pick it up. I can't seem to do anything with um, little Albert here. Um, but, but I also can't seem to do anything with anything else. Wow, Delvina. Cold, even by my standards. He looks a little bit dopey, but he might be good natured. I don't know what to do. <clears throat> I, I ran into a. Um, a snag. Can't seem to take the mask off. That's this is it. Can't click his pockets, face, well, hands.
I think so, yeah. So I tried to get this twig that's coming out of the tree, if this was what you mean. Oh, you have to you have to drag. I always, I always forget to try dragging. Um, I guess we got to swing him into the well. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is creepy. Physics. So I have to click on him to make him turn this thing. Jesus, little Lizzie Lou. This is, I've seen this, I've seen this look in your eye before. You, you get this look when you kill dupes. You're getting the same look now. Oh my God. So he's, um, he's moving his hands to match the thing. So I think we have to give him the teddy bear to make him take his hands off. <laughs> oh, is that not enough? No, that's enough. Oh my god. And, and and this like dead eyes and smile the whole time. All right. Oh, no, we get another branch for Emma now. Um All right, one, two or three. 15 seconds. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna get some tea, so I'll be I'll be right back. take a one minute break. I'll be uh, I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to put up the uh, BRB message, but uh, um, hi, Vestrial. All right, so what did you all decide? Um, not even half. Not even half it through. Need a body part, so. All right, now Delvina wants to do two. Okay, all right. Now we started counting from zero, right? Zero, one, two. Just kidding. Oh 
All right. Um, I'm going to take that off because we've solved that puzzle. We destroyed that puzzle. All right. And these keep getting more complicated, and we're only halfway through, so it's a good thing you're all helping me. <laughs> all right. Telescope with some numbers, so probably we need to, like, you know, determine a, a point of interest or something. <clears throat> oh. Got this. I'm really into uh, jigsaw puzzles. Okay, we need some more pieces. Oh, it's the oh, it's the flowers. And the child. What's his name? Frank. I need to start dragging stuff. B plus C plus D minus A. Okay, that's going to be a little, a little something. Um, so. <laughs> So what have you walked into, Vestrial? So this game is uh, it's creepy, 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 creepy. And uh, otherwise, it's just a little kind of point-and-click adventure, sort of like Escape the Room. Um, dear son, I've been looking for you for so long. If you find this letter, look for me in the stars, your mother. What's the theme? Murder puzzles? Uh, it's kind of like... It's, it's, it's really hard to describe. How, how, how would the rest of you describe this? I guess there's like a supernatural theme going on. There's like a creepy surrealist kind of thing going on. Um... I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's the the style is definitely surrealist, surrealistic. Oh, here we go. This so I see what's going to happen. So. Um, this is giving us the, the letters that represent these different um, uh, parts of the... There we go. Look at that. It's like I'm a, a pro streamer here. All right. So... Basically, we take a look at the tele through the telescope, and let's say that A is the windmill. So if we find the windmill, which I, I don't see the windmill. Oh, there it is, okay. So the windmill is f four or five. Oh, I see. It even tells you the crosshairs are at the top. So the windmill is five. So that means that, uh, sorry, the four. Um, so that means that uh, A is four. You think you've played this before, Delvina? I mean, this puzzle, like puzzles like this, I feel like I've played in different games before. But, but maybe, I don't know. All right, so um, can someone uh, can someone remember? Can someone put this in chat? A, A is four.
Uh, the paper with the 62 mean set the telescope to 62. I, th I think maybe this is explaining the puzzle if, if you didn't get it. So, but B, so B is 62. Um, all right, so D, yeah, D is 33. I think, I think C is 35. Does this look right? I think C is 35. Okay, a little Lucy Lou agrees. Oh, hello. Polly want a cracker? Sorry, sorry about that. Um, all right, so B plus C plus D minus A. Uh, something like 126. False. Did I do the arithmetic wrong, or did we get the numbers wrong? All right, Vestral, have a nice night. Pale says 128. Pretty sure 126, yeah. So I sort of expected this thing to open. <laughs> oh, God. All right, 126 it is. We got a stamp. So now we have a stamp and we have ink. The hardest, the hardest puzzle of all is knowing when to click. Oh, there's a whole... Oh, I see. This goes, like, here. Stamp some stuff. Put some stampy stamps on the stamp, like that. And then... Oh, that's... Okay, I see, I see. And this goes into the crocodile. I mean the uh, parrot. Go forth, my my son. Find my son. Uh, I bet he I bet he wants a treat. So you know what's her brother didn't even tell her that what happened to the kid. Dumbina, don't you can't you can't shame her for her for her age. That's uh that's called ageism and it's not right. Yeah, especially like the next time they went to get some water from the well and it tasted like Frank. Like, you'd think that they would suspect. This water's a little Franky, don't you think? When did I shame her looks? I never shamed her looks. Oh, her legs? Her legs are like this big around. Punch the bird. Good call, pal. I just uh, didn't think to punch the bird. 
All right. So now we've got uh, more adventures of Frank, Ida and Samuel, and um, the devil. One, two, or three. My, my own vote is two this time, and I, I have a vote, so. Fifteen seconds. All right, that's that's three for two. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll. I want to know what happens to uh, uh, Ida and Samuel. It looks like they got married. Jeez, Ida, go outside some. My God. Boy. She's like, like she's got um, clown makeup on. She's like completely pale white. So w is this the mother? And is this Emma? Because Emma's blonde? Okay. Um, I can't seem to, nobody's clicking, so I guess maybe we have to take the photo. We've got some hats, we got some veils, we're gonna play dress up. It's gonna be great. You know I'm gonna put them on the wrong people. <coughs> seller, seller taint. Uh, this looks like a puzzle. It's got some shapes. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what this puzzle is. All I can do is click it, and it just pop, pops back open. Oh, I bet I have to click top, 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 bottom, bottom, top, something like that. Okay. All right. So brides have veils. Hats. He loves hats. Probably on the boy. That one. No, come back. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, the boy likes the hat, I think. What do you think? Let's take the picture, right? Should he get pregnant from a magic flower? Does that mean that he's half flower? Oh, it's another one of these. Oh, really? Matching colors? Uh, that's a little basic, don't you think? <laughs> um, I guess it won't let us take the photo until we have the hats right, which is how it's how modern cameras work too. Um, so is that actually all the hats? So probably the green one is actually worn by green lady although these greens are not the same so if if she came to me and she said hey what do you think about this hat I'd say mm, maybe not the green one it actually looks pretty good on her although I feel like it's not supposed to be her hat Uh, hat's got to be in the dresser. Oh, yeah. So do you see any hints to this puzzle? So we've got a, a couple of shapes. Square goes to Pentagon. And um, the one at the bottom is like dots surrounded by a triangle or something. A lesson on fashion sense. Ouch! My goodness. It's a good thing I have thick skin, little Lucy, though. Otherwise, that would that would be a mean thing to say. Um, I don't. I wonder. Maybe the clues are on the people. Oh God! Take your hat. No offense. 
intended. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm sure. I'm sure. No offense intended. Don't you? Don't you start, Delvina. Take away your mod privileges. Then, then what'll you be? Not a mod. That's what. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. There's four sides, three sides, five sides, three sides, four sides. Is that what you're is that what you're saying, Yate? Oh, Pale said it too. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two. Whew. All right, top hat. And a little peek, the hidey hole here. Um, so these are self-contained puzzles. I like that. All right, so maybe... One. So that's not it. Oh, that's good. Oh, you guys are so smart. You guys are so smart. Okay. Oh, well, I think we know who's going to be wearing this one. All right, Mortimer gets the hat. Creepy guy gets the face. Uh, do veils really count as hats? I feel like she deserves a hat. Give the kid the mask. He has no chill, for for sure. All right, that was a pretty, it was a pretty easy one. Um, I probably would have clicked around looking for hints to that other one on the left, though. All right, one, two, three. Albina going for the go for the big story here. <laughs> All right, one it is. We just did two. Because remember that was the wedding photo, so we learned a bit about um, Ida and uh, Mortimer, Samuel, whatever. All right, so she's really into flowers now. Uh, yeah. Got an, uh, a shell, a nautilus shell, some turmeric or turmeric, a key. Um, okay. Okay. So I guess we have to figure out what the right colors are for these things. So, like a derpy flower has is yellow, and then we need to find paints to put on our palette. What's up, babe? Your son? Mm, I got bad news for you. Got bad news. Um, I bet this will make yellow. No, smush it. How do we get? How do we get out? How do we get it out? I bet this will make white or something. I don't know how to get it out. Ignore the news. I just thought it was background. I mean, in this game. Okay. I don't know how to get this out. Can we grab her palette? No, we can't take her palette.
I mean, we, we know what's going to happen with the noose, right? Oh, good call. Paintbrush. A bottle. Maybe we need the bottle for the... No, it's not the bottle. It's not the paintbrush. It's not the shell. You thought we could change the future. Um... I'm trying. I'm trying to decide if I want to be really morose. Uh, mortar more. Can't seem to mortar more either. Bottle on sap. Okay, I tried shell on sap. Okay, bottle on sap works. It's just called oil now. Oh, maybe we have to mix it to with the stuff to make. There we go. All right, so we need oil to to make pigment. So let's make berries and, and uh, smush it and oil and then paint and then da and then smush it and then oil and paint. Okay. Got it. Very nice. Um, All right, so yellow is this flower, I think. Oh, I actually have to paint it. Okay, something like that. Um, Star-shaped flower is sort of... You probably are going to tell me my colors are wrong, but next you'll be telling me I don't know how to paint flowers. Oh, I have to do it all in one go. Yeah, reset. That sucks. Um, all right, so I need your help to record numbers. So clamshell flower is black. So actually, we're going to need to find black somewhere. So that that's these. Um, lotus blossom flower is white. So that's uh, that one. And... Uh, Oh, I, I get it, little loose, the, the entire ground. You're saying this is meant to be the color that the ground is. Got you. Got you. Um, and then this thing, which is like a cabbage, is red. Okay? Y'all got it? So cabbages are red. Um, these are black. Ooh, black like death. People, when I look at people, I see death. This, I've already forgotten. Uh, yellow, ground is yellow. Oh my god, this is exhausting. This is why nobody's a painter. This is just exhausting. Okay. Uh, all right, the, the lotus flower, I remember saying, but... I've forgotten what it was. White. I think it was white. Okay. Oh, so it's white. Now what's this? Orange? You you tried doing this. It's impossible. This is why artists make so much money. Got it. I'm so can I what if I use that voice? I'm so tired. Um, okay, easy peasy. I can't tell if I mean, if I mean what, most of what I say, I don't, I don't mean. I'm just, uh, just trying to be funny. Um, oh dear. <sighs> I was just turned around for a second to paint a little picture. Uh, okay. 
So she's ruined. I mean, um, he, uh, blah, the devil has ruined his sister's life, and uh, she wound up taking it. She has baby feet too. I didn't, I didn't see. That's terrible. Um, now I don't know what this is. This is like another branch. This is a branch back before the sun died. So this branch started before the well. So um, one, two, or three. You know the drill. Fifteen seconds. This is this is way better than I expected. I thought we were gonna blow through this game in like twenty minutes, and we were gonna escape from the house or or whatever, and um, and just be done with it. This is a huge game. This is this game is also like you can buy it for like three bucks. This is well worth it. All right, we got all threes. Consensus. We want more of the devil story. So it's uh, Albert, Ida, and Samuel. 1904, voodoo. Okay. Okay, so maybe we need some buttons? I don't... I don't, I don't have any idea what any of this stuff is. Like... I... I'd be surprised if it even explains it by the end of the game. All right, so she wants the screen. Take took his pipe because smoking's bad for you. Okay, everybody, um, you shouldn't smoke. Uh, oh, oh, hello, okay. All right, so we've got flat arm scarecrow um, doing the doing the wave scarecrow and then cross guard scarecrow and they have different faces, I guess. Um. I, I I have no idea. I mean, somebody's trying to make themselves, trying to resurrect somebody, but that's... All right, they both want um, the screen. That's it? That's, okay, that's the whole thing. So we have a candle, can't click on other oh, pipe. Okay. Okay, got it. We have two jars here. Um, listen, everybody, I want to warn you, there may be death in, in this episode. We have two jars of, of uh, presumably formaldehyde. Um, no, this is just, he comes over and he puts on the costume and just hangs out like this. I mean, my brother does the same thing. He wants buttons, I think. Buttons for the, uh, for the eyes. Can we get buttons? Maybe they'll each give me a button. Maybe they want a candle. Oh, and the lamp. No? Really? Okay. Um. Okay. I've, I've, okay, okay. Uh, okay, yay, figured it out. But I um, have no idea what I just did. But I bet we can do the same on the other. No, we cannot. Okay, I have no no clue. No clue what that was about. Uh, 
Oh, because it's voodoo. I I didn't even notice. He I see. So now I understand this. <laughs> Wow, this is really creepy. This is crazily, crazy, crazy, crazy creepy. So, um, if his face is kind of straight across, oops. Oh, we got a key. Um, if his face is straight across, maybe we need to like do that or something. I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, man, this is like, oh, th this one has a cross, um, across its heart. Oh, no, oh, she, was, she was my favorite character. Just because of her hair. Is that shallow of me? I guess it is. But I mean, you know. Um, yeah, she seems, she seems all right. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can just make his arm in different poses. Um, probably, oh, we knocked up, we knocked off the lantern by moving his hand up. But what if we do this? Oh, that, now he looks like a T-Rex. This is a little bit entertaining, I have to admit. Have to admit. You ready butts in Overwatch? Who, who won? Who's got the best, uh, butt in Overwatch? Doom fist. Um, all right. Oh, we can move her arms now. Let's make her let's make her cheer. I don't I don't really understand what we're supposed to be doing. To match the box. The problem is, there's three of these. Does, does she change? Do we do him? Do we do her? <clears throat> She just t seems totally nonplussed. Oh, the first one is Goofy? Uh oh. 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 What's his face? I like that idea. Can I move his arms? Maybe I'll be able to. She looks the same. Yeah, let me try him. So let's pick a pose. <clears throat> pick your favorite pose. Let's do the uh, YMCA stuff thing going on. So up on the right, down on the left. His face doesn't really seem to change either. He always just looks moderately distressed. <clears throat> oh, maybe the box changes his face. That's that's it's not it. It's an okay idea, but position the three at once. Well, the problem is I can't move him. 
can't move him. Who stands like the first image? His hands are like this. No, his hands aren't straight across. They're up. His hands are up to his head. Um, all right. I, I think I buy it. There's three people, right? And they're situated left to right. So, so let's pose him like the middle one and her like the one on the right. So she's straight on the left, down on the right. Oh, now she looks serene. Okay. So, actually, I have an idea. So, it's a little bit ambiguous because the, the doll of Samuel is on the left of Goofus. And uh, the doll of Ida is on the right. So, maybe it's Samuel, then Goofus, then Ida. So what if we give Samuel the straight across? Uh... Hey, Doug. What's up, man? Um, try other arm positions on Ida. So she's serene there too. About to go to work. Oh, that sucks. It sucks that you've got to work while you're sick. So her arms do, her, her eyes do open in that position. So I think the question is, uh, which, which, which one is which? Um, Okay, so I figured the dolls have to be the right. Uh, uh, I, I want to use this positioning, not the positioning in real life. That's what I figured. So, so straight across, straight across for the guy. That's what he looks like. Is just slightly displeased, and then I just tried each possibility for the uh, for the devil, because um, we don't know what he's look he looks like underneath. And that seemed to work. Okay, so we got a pair of scissors. Uh, oh, we can cut buttons off. Which 
Oh dear God! Oh, we've seen this. The, the future, the future. Hold on. The fortune teller showed us this. Oh, this is so gross and disturbing. This is crazy. Oh, he doesn't want buttons. He wants eyes. Ah. Oh. Uh. Jesus Christ, this game is too much. What does this mean? Collect all ten sacrifices. What do we got? We got a heart. We got two eyes. Um, we need a foot. A thing. Some teeth, I guess. Maybe tears. It's tears of Emma Vanderboom. Um, I can't click on it since we don't have it yet. But it looks, I would guess it's hair, yeah. I would guess it's hair. So. So if we have James' tongue, and he died trying to get immortality, William Vanderboom was the fat guy who fell out of the clock. Who's alive? Like, the Goofus is alive. Maybe the William's brother? Oh my god. Um, Alright, I think uh, I think what I want to do is like, one more of these tonight, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to come back and finish this up another time, because we're only halfway through the game. From Frank. Oh, from the red-headed son? Was that Frank? Yeah, what do you get out of a well? I guess that's what this is going to be. Is we're going to get Frank's body part. So, so okay, let's do one more. Do you want to do get Frank's body part? Do you want to uh, find out what keeps happening in the, in the creeper? Or um, see what happens with the... One, two, or three. Let's do. Let's do one more. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the names. It's part of the problem is that I call them the wrong name half the time. All right. Three it is. Let's see what Albert is up to. The brood. All right, he's he's changed masks because you know he's kind of into that. Um, I think this says take the bean and the tear and put them in the thing and make science. I'm uh, pretty sure that's what that says. Okay, he's keeping somebody in the basement. Now, who's he keeping in the basement? Who, who, who is this? Who, who is this guy? It's just, just like another project of his? Oh, God. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. All right, I can't move the thing, so it has to be like this. Um, probably. Okay. Can't swivel that. Um. 
The symbols in the picture were the first alchemy lesson. Um, let's come back to this. All right, a moon rock, aka potato, an egg. Oh, that is not a normal egg. That is like the egg of an insect or something. Is he trying to resurrect Ida? Does he love his brother's wife? No idea. I mean, he shouldn't have killed her if he wanted to resurrect her. Resurrect her? I just met her. <clears throat> Let's give him a potato. He needs, he needs to eat something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe he just wanted more eyes, you know? Like, if you could resurrect somebody, um, you just keep resurrecting them, get a bunch of eyes. How cool would it be to have a jar of eyes? There we go. Okay, so we turn that on. Um, there we go. So the egg goes through here. Now it, it has to, I'm just, I can't turn this. So it has to be this, has to be this, um, has to be this has to be this, 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 has to be this, has to be this, has to be this, so I could go here, um, but then if, I, if I've come from, from this, um, this has to be like this, then this has to be like this, and this is just stuck. So I kind of wonder if maybe I have to switch these around for different... Uh, uh, sections. So step one is the egg, step two is the tears, and step three is the pipe. So I would think that you have to put all three in at the same time. Egg could drop from top. It looks like you have to put the egg in the funnel. Oh, I think you just have to put them in, you know, in any order. Um, there you go. Okay, so egg first, and then water. Okay, right, water goes down and comes in. Okay, let's assume that worked. And now magic potion thing. That's should be that. Oops, that's water. Gosh darn it. Um, maybe I just need both of them in at the same time. I thought it was, I think it was to resurrect Delvina. I think eternal life was the potion that um, James tried to drink. Oh, but you know what? Those were two different timelines, weren't they? Wasn't, wasn't it? Like the one where James tried to res uh, live forever was the one where he didn't marry. Rotate the cross, add the on from the bottom right. It 
talking about this? So I'm getting water and um, green stuff in. I, I, I don't know. I could be wrong, Delphine. I might be misremembering. Um, I see. Okay. So the, the bean has to come from the top. The potion has to come from the left, and the water has to come from the right. But actually, that's what I've got. Potion from the left, water from the right. So I don't understand why it isn't working. The tear. I think the tear is water. So, oh, I see what you mean. See what you mean, little Lucy Lou. Uh, let's find a tear. Oh, I bet he's got a tear. That's not a tear. That is not. It's not a tear. It's not a tear. Um, I have to click to make him proceed. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Got it. It's, it's a pot with semen. Okay. There we go. Nice job. Nice job, man. Good, good going. Um, let's put that in there. Definitely. Definitely going to put that into our little concoction. You know what I mean? Drop. Yeah, get that going. All right. There we go. We've made a baby, of course. Uh, a bean and some semen and some green juice. We've got no idea what that is. Um, made a baby. Of course, he's made a baby. Have we made a baby just to get more body parts? I I don't know. But we get more of his story. Whew, but that is going to be next time. Uh, I'm going to have to call it quits there. It's getting late, and we've played uh, just a little over half the game. So... Um, I might just play the next half tomorrow night. Um, if that sounds good to everybody who's been following along, then um, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that'll probably be the plan is we'll just finish this up tomorrow night. So thanks for stopping by and um, drop by Discord. Let me know if the time works for you. I hope to see you again. I start every night at uh, somewhere between five or six. Um, Leaning towards six ish, but between five and six. Um, I, I, uh, I usually t say beforehand in uh, Discord. All right, everybody. Good night.